Hi, hello, hi, what's cooking good looking? It's been two years. <laughs> we ended up getting the house and it's been two years because I had a kid, or me and my husband had a kid together. Takes two to tango. And we didn't get a lot of progress done on the house during the time I was pregnant. And then when I wasn't pregnant anymore, it was just all hands on deck all the time, balls to the wall, let's go. So we hadn't been able to record a whole lot, but now I'm gonna take you through an update tour of Oak Ridge. Sorry, it's been a while, but I had a kid. I'm gonna switch the angle because this, I wanted to start out with the same way that we had started in the last video, but these mamas are too bright. Okay, so anyways, whoa, slow down, wibbly wobbly. Sorry, I have one of the cheapest tripods available. Not a lot of money right now. You can understand why. So I'm just gonna try to take you through the house um, in the same order that I took you through last time. I just rewatched the video to try and make sure that I get everything right. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how the first part started out. Wait, it's a pain in the ass. Got it. So after this point, I took you to the porch. To be so honest with you, the exterior is a completely huge train wreck because of construction and also we haven't been able to mow because of construction and not having a lawn mower and also I have turkeys, ducks, and chickens and they are pooping everywhere on my porch. I just hosed it off yesterday. It doesn't matter. They poop so much. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the interior this time. No exterior. It's going to be a shorter video. And um, still not going to take you through the basement because the basement is a mess and it's storage and construction. <laughs> wow, it's almost like there's a theme. All right, so let's start off with the living room. Everything that had used to be here, like all that adhesive and all of the just straight up this brick here has now been studded. And we have insulation, dry lock, vapor barriers, all that good stuff installed. So now drywall is going to go up on these walls. The floors have also been sanded, stained, and treated. A couple more treatments are about to happen today, but that's where we're at. We took out this entire wall that used to be covered in that paper stuff, so now the stairwell is going to be exposed and we're going to put up a banister and more drywall here. And then, excuse you, you go into the old room, which we now call the nursery because it used to be my daughter's nursery. This is what the floors look like now that they have been sanded. And we haven't gotten along the edges of these yet, so they're not being treated. So we sectioned it off like this. Like you can see the difference between that and that and that. But these still need drywall because it's just straight up concrete and brick. The stairs have been completely replaced by new boards. It's really dusty because of construction, but it's been stained, treated, all that good stuff. Same color as the floors, but because the floor is a different kind of wood and a different age, this didn't take the same way. So it is what it is. This was the den. And since then, we have taken the den out. Like this wall right here that I didn't want to drywall. So glad I don't have to drywall it because it's gone. Took that out, put a bay window in, did the floors in here, and we've installed this little thing, which is going to be a pantry, and this little thing, which is going to be a mudroom closet. Mudroom is the same. It's going to stay the same. And then the kitchen we completely tore out as well, so that way we have more counter space. We have a double washboard sink with an industrial hose. We're going to put an island right here for bar seating. That right there is an intake vent but there's like a lot of holes in the floor right now. Sorry about that. Also, my power is out, so I have nothing else to do except to record and show you things. But right here, we have put up walls to install a half bath slash, um, I don't know what you call it. It's gonna be half bath. It's gonna have a stand up shower, a toilet, a sink. And then right here, we're gonna take this, which used to be the master bedroom entrance, and turn it straight up into a master bedroom right there. So it will have its own bathroom. It will have a closet and all of that. In here, we have the bathroom, which is pretty much the same, but we're gonna pull up this linoleum, put fresh in, and we're gonna get all the drywall corners and stuff like that fixed, like up there. 
that was just what we could do to get the bank loan. But fix all this up. The master bedroom, the master bedroom is very much our storage space at the moment for all the stuff on the first floor. A lot of things hanging. This used to be our room, of course, and the floors are sanded, but we still need to go through and um, put new drywall and new insulation in because we didn't get to do that last time because we didn't have the money. So this is gonna be tore out as well eventually. Look at this, so much nicer. These are going to be walled as well. Lots of friends wrote things on this while we were having parties and uh, renovating and stuff. So anybody that's come in to help, we like have let them draw on things. Um, like right here. But this is gonna be another half wall or another wall. And we're planning on making this kind of like an entertainment center entertainment center area. Sorry, I cannot talk today. I'm out of breath. There's no power, so there's no AC. And then, of course, we have the attic. So this is where we're at with it. The attic was completely gutted. No more moldy nonsense, new insulation, new drywall, new studs, new everything. This is all of my stuff, so I don't want to show you too much of it. But check it out. Half walls. That way you can section off either one and turn them into two different bedrooms. This is our master bedroom. This is the playpen for my daughter with all of her little stuff in it. And this way that we kind of went with the Montessori theme here. You didn't ask, but this way she can't get into anything. And this is my editing area. The attic was a pain. There's new walls, new everything, new windows. We have a lot more to do. We still have to trim and a bunch of other stuff, but hopefully I can take you on that journey with me if I can get this video edited and put out in a decent time. So we'll see. But that's where the house is at. Kiki. Oh, it's been a lot. It's been two years of work. We're doing the best that we can right now, but um, I'm gonna try to keep up to date more. Bunch of just short form videos of what we're doing or little things chopped up like this, so. Just wanted to show you guys where we're at and hopefully get my feet wet again with editing and recording so thank you